Part 1. Listen to the full conversation. Hey, have you ever thought about the good things social media brings? Yeah, I mean, it's nice to connect with friends and family easily. True, and you can share photos and updates instantly. But, you know, there are downsides too, like privacy concerns and stuff. Yeah, that's a big issue. It feels like everyone knows everything about you. And the time we spend on it, it's so addictive, you lose track. Absolutely. Sometimes I wish I could just unplug and take a break. But on the bright side, it's a great way to find interesting events and news. Yeah, I've discovered so many cool things through social media. On the other hand, there's also misinformation spreading like wildfire. True, it's hard to know what's real and what's not sometimes. And the pressure to always post something exciting or perfect, it's stressful. I totally get that. It's like we're all trying to show off our best selves. But hey, it's a fantastic tool for networking and career opportunities. Oh, definitely. I've seen job offers and professional events on there. Yet, there's also cyberbullying, which is really concerning. Yeah, it's terrible how people can hide behind a screen and be mean. Still, social media helps in staying connected, especially in long-distance friendships. That's true. I can keep up with my friends from different countries. But sometimes, it feels like we're more focused on our online life than the real one. Agreed? It's like we're living for the likes and comments. And the constant notifications. It's hard to concentrate sometimes. Yeah, it's like a never-ending stream of distractions. Nevertheless, social media is a powerful tool for activism and raising awareness. Definitely. It gives a voice to those who might not be heard otherwise. On the downside, it also amplifies negativity and hate speech. It's sad how some people use it to spread hate instead of love. But think about the good times it helps us remember through old photos and posts. Yeah, the memories. It's like a digital scrapbook of our lives. Still, the fear of missing out, FOMO, is real and can be overwhelming. I know what you mean. Seeing everyone's highlight reel can be tough. Yet, it's a great platform for expressing creativity through art and writing. True. Many talented people showcase their work there. But it also contributes to a culture of comparison and low self-esteem. Yeah, constantly comparing ourselves to others isn't healthy. Nevertheless, social media can be a powerful educational tool. Totally. I've learned a lot from articles and videos shared there. On the flip side, it can also be a huge time waster if we're not careful. Oh, for sure. I've lost count of the hours spent mindlessly scrolling. So, what do you think? Is the impact of social media more positive or negative? It's a tough call. There are good and bad aspects, but it depends on how we use it. Agreed. Like any tool, it's about finding a balance and using it responsibly. Absolutely. It's all about being mindful of our online presence and the impact it has. Well, it was good chatting about this. Let's catch up in person sometime, away from screens. Definitely. It's time for a social media detox, at least for a little while. Practice session. Let's practice together. I'll go first. Hey, have you ever thought about the good things social media brings? True, and you can share photos and updates instantly. Yeah, that's a big issue. It feels like everyone knows everything about you. Absolutely. Sometimes I wish I could just unplug and take a break. Yeah, I've discovered so many cool things through social media.
True, it's hard to know what's real and what's not sometimes. I totally get that. It's like we're all trying to show off our best selves. Oh, definitely. I've seen job offers and professional events on there. Yeah, it's terrible how people can hide behind a screen and be mean. That's true. I can keep up with my friends from different countries. Agreed? It's like we're living for the likes and comments. Yeah, it's like a never-ending stream of distractions. Definitely. It gives a voice to those who might not be heard otherwise. It's sad how some people use it to spread hate instead of love. Yeah, the memories. It's like a digital scrapbook of our lives. I know what you mean. Seeing everyone's highlight reel can be tough. True. Many talented people showcase their work there. Yeah, constantly comparing ourselves to others isn't healthy. Totally. I've learned a lot from articles and videos shared there. Oh, for sure. I've lost count of the hours spent mindlessly scrolling. It's a tough call. There are good and bad aspects, but it depends on how we use it. Absolutely. It's all about being mindful of our online presence and the impact it has. Definitely. It's time for a social media detox, at least for a little while. Now, let's switch the role. You go first. Yeah, I mean, it's nice to connect with friends and family easily. But, you know, there are downsides too, like privacy concerns and stuff. And the time we spend on it, it's so addictive, you lose track. But, on the bright side, it's a great way to find interesting events and news. On the other hand, there's also misinformation spreading like wildfire. And the pressure to always post something exciting or perfect, it's stressful. But hey, it's a fantastic tool for networking and career opportunities. Yet, there's also cyberbullying, which is really concerning. Still, social media helps in staying connected, especially in long-distance friendships. But sometimes, 
it feels like we're more focused on our online life than the real one. And the constant notifications. It's hard to concentrate sometimes. Nevertheless, social media is a powerful tool for activism and raising awareness. On the downside, it also amplifies negativity and hate speech. But think about the good times it helps us remember through old photos and posts. Still, the fear of missing out, FOMO, is real and can be overwhelming. Yet, it's a great platform for expressing creativity through art and writing. But it also contributes to a culture of comparison and low self-esteem. Nevertheless, social media can be a powerful educational tool On the flip side, it can also be a huge time waster if we're not careful. So, what do you think? Is the impact of social media more positive or negative? Agreed. Like any tool, it's about finding a balance and using it responsibly. Well, it was good chatting about this. Let's catch up in person sometime, away from screens.